What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mafia 2. Our last episode, we found this beaut of a car and destroyed it for a friend. Uh, what's his name? Mike or something? Hey, Mike. Okay. So now, uh, now that that's done, we stole from the Mulian, Mulians. How do you pronounce it? Mulians? I could be just completely wrong. Anyway, we're going back to Joe's. I guess his car is not that much better. Eh, it's got a little bit of damage. Uh, F, right? Yeah. Let's see what we gotta do for Joe here. Is it bad I forgot how to, like, do things in this game? Okay. Careful. Yeah, I was saying before about, like, the camera changes automatically when you're driving, when you're turning sometimes. Okay, alright. I forgot how slippery it was. <laughs> it's been a couple days since I've played this game last. Um, I got a new job, so I'm, like, a lot less time to record nowadays. But I'm trying to get uh, everything out as much as possible for you guys, whoever's watching. So, uh, yeah, I try to record, you know, I, I just try to record when I can, I guess. That's the best way I can talk about it here. And we break and we power slide. <laughs> should take the highway, Vito. Uh, the highway, huh? Oh, that's this. Okay, great. Oh, I forgot we gotta, like, watch our speed, too, because we can All get... Right. you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all going to be a piece of cake. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. I was watching my uh, speedometer. <laughs> so, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You going to make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track, and some mix spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks. You believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. That Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since he shipped out. You'll see. Uh, so I still gotta meet a bunch of people still. Which is uh, pretty common for the Mafia, I suppose. But uh, this game's pretty good. I'm liking this uh, story so far. Seeing where it goes. Well, oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Alright. I wish the roads weren't so slippery, but it is kind of funny. Slipping and sliding around here. Excuse me, lady. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we're here. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? I forgot. This is my car. <laughs> then I will definitely put it in the garage. I'm also really surprised the cops didn't see me like hit that leader right there. But, uh, no problem. Alright, my garage is this one, that's glowing, apparently. Uh, then what happens? Park in garage. Yeah, good. Alright, let's go, Joe. Do I gotta walk you back up to your... Okay. <laughs> uh, staircase, here. I'm just gonna run to your apartment and is it here? Third floor? No. Must have been the fourth floor. Uh right. Is this wrong again? <laughs> I don't know why they have this mechanic. It's kinda cool, but I'm not sure why they have it. 
I'm gonna turn off all the lights in this place. So that's not your uh, apartment here. Alright. No. Alright. Let's try it downstairs. One more floor. May went up too high. This is where we came in at. Alright, man. Where the hell is your apartment? It's not down here. Get away. <laughs> uh, hmm. It wasn't the second floor. I'm pretty sure it was the third floor. And then we walked over here and it was like this one. Could have been this one. Ah, Joey Barbaro. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. The refrigerator. Open the fridge and take some food. You hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. Okay. There's the fridge. Eating and drinking heals injuries. Oh, where is my health bar? Hmm, let's see. Beer, cola, classic ham and cheese. Eh, it looks kinda eh. That's a large gulp. Okay, there goes my health. And... Oh. I can eat the other half of the sandwich. <laughs> I'll save that for Joey. I'll take a beer. <laughs> Good God. Oh, now I'm drunk. Fantastic. Uh, I've been replenished to maximum. Fantastic. Alright. Crashed on the kitchen couch kitchen couch who the hell puts a couch in their kitchen all right uh crashing Why am I answering the phone? Is this his house? Phone, phone, phone. Phone, phone, phone. Where the hell is the phone at? Is it in the kitchen too? With the couch? No. I hear it coming from here. This is the bathroom. There's no couch in here. <laughs> there it is. Found it. Hello. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right. Bye, Mama. Did not speak to Mr. Papalardo. <laughs> oh, so now we do have to go there. Use the phone. For what? You have no number to call. <laughs> How sad. Alright, let's put some clothes on. I guess we gotta take our standard clothes. Let's see if I can find more clothes sometime. Maybe it's like a, something you'd shop for, like GTA or something. What is this lady doing? Can I sneak? Hello. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. Oh. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. <laughs> Darling. All right. Well, let's get our uh, fantastic car. Hey, turn that down in there. What's this Joker doing? Can I punch him? I think he's just gonna knock. You don't turn that crap down! I'm gonna call a cop! 
<laughs> Is he just gonna knock all day if I just stood here? <laughs> nice. All right. Hey, turn that down in there. Quit yelling. <laughs> okay. To the garage. Is it this one? I think. I think it's this one. Is that my car? Change car. It doesn't look like my car. It's got a lot of salt on it and stuff from the snow. I guess it is. Okay. Really? Alright. Guess we'll repair it. Oh, it looks nice now. Sweet. That's definitely my car. Alright. Uh, down to the port or docks or something. Read all about it. <laughs> Read all about it. Okay. I don't know how far of a trip this is, but I might just cut until we get to our location. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Ah. Oh, that was close. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, we made it to the city port finally. It's actually a pretty far drive. I only crashed once. <laughs> Well, one and a half times. Uh, get out. I'm assuming we go up, maybe? Does that sound right to you? Windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Eh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Yeah, it was pretty easy to get a job back in 1945, apparently. Here you go, sir. I'll close the door for you. Keep your steak nice and toasty. Alright, where are we going, Steve? There's a hole in the floor. I don't know if you notice that. <laughs> so we're getting this uh, straight job for Mama, is that why? Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. Ooh. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Yes, sir. Uh, lift the crate. I gotta do all these? This is gonna be insane. Can I just break it and be done for my day? <laughs> End my shift early because I broke something? Oh, jeez. I like the little hand in the corner. Does that mean I'm holding something? Alright. Load the truck. I used to do this for a job. It sucked. <laughs> I was going to say, you're just going to put it right in the center. If 
feel weird talking about it, but that's like how my wife loads uh, grocery oh, yeah, this grocery is carts. Be a lot of fun. The fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day. <laughs> She's sitting right behind me. Hopefully she didn't hear me say that. <laughs> she did. No, we go to the the grocery store and uh, like I don't know, maybe I'm just overly like particular and orderly about my shopping cart procedure. Yes. <coughs> but she like gets like a like a head of lettuce, let's say, and then she'll put it like right in the center of the cart. Or she like get uh, the door is open, leave when you've had when you have had enough. So that's how work was like back then. You just leave whenever you're done, you feel Jeez, like you're all done. this for ten lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. But anyway, yeah, that's just something we talk about at the grocery store. Kind of a running joke with us. So, uh, yeah, apparently in 1945 you could just work as long as you want and then like, yeah, I'm done for today. I don't feel like working anymore. I'll try that with my boss on uh, Monday, see if that works. I think I've had enough. Going home. What does that fist mean? Does that mean I'm like stronger, or does it just mean I'm empty-handed? Let's do one more. Oh, how can these guys stand this? I'm doing this for five fucking minutes. I already hate it. It's true. It's really not that fun. I mean, I didn't like load trucks as like my sole job. I did like a lot of stuff. But I worked in a warehouse, and you know, loaded trucks, unloaded trucks driving trucks, and then general warehouse garbage. Job sucked, but, you know, a job's a job. You know, you learn that when you're older. Okay. The door is open. Leave when you've had enough. I've had enough. See you, Steve. See you, Derek. Paparat Papalardo? Papayardo? How do you say it? Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? That sucks. I did like the four crates. I didn't even get my ten bucks for that. <laughs> I thought I could just leave and still get my money. They didn't really specify in the instructions. What if I finished all the crates? Would I still get my ten bucks? What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss, I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. 
Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra and meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. So I guess I'm working for this guy who pulled a gun on me. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's uh, talk to some of these scumbags. <laughs> Hey man, you need a haircut? <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I'm assuming the other ones won't be so easy. Hey buddy. Hey pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. These guys are real friendly. Let's see what this guy looks like. I don't know, he's got a hammer. You think he's gonna fight with me? Let's give him a shot. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Push him around, make him pay. Yeah! <laughs> Push them. <laughs> Had enough? Oh. Well. Did I do that? It's your fucking money. Okay. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. <laughs> I thought I killed him or something. Oh, who's this guy? Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? <laughs> whoa, 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 I wasn't ready. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be in the war. <laughs> oh, now you're down. What do you got? What do you got? Huh? Oh, missed me. <laughs> yeah? Oh, nice swing. Oh, I missed. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Overconfident. Gotta use the jab more. That's what you gotta do. Come on, man. <laughs> Finish him. Oh, I love the slow motion kick to the face. Anybody else want some? Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? All right, let's just go return the money to Derek. Such heavy feet running around stomping on the floor. I think we have enough money then, since we scared all the other guys. Derek! Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. 
Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. He wants you should meet him. So, like, same time tomorrow? Or... Okay. Oops! <laughs> Is that how you open doors here? Just punch them till they open. Can I vault? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> that hurt. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. We'll head back to Joe's in our next video, which is like the common starting place, I guess. Let's go back to Joe's. Can I knock this guy over? Hey. Yeah, <laughs> you dropped your box. Oh no! He's fighting me! Uh, oh man, he's tough. <laughs> Come on, old man, what do you got? <laughs> You're on the ground now. Yeah. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot? I'm gonna get kicked. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be in trouble, aren't I? I gotta go. Gotta get out of here. Alright. Run over your box. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Take care.